Hey y'all, welcome back to the channel. Uh, it's been a little while, finally got everything settled down. So we figured we'd get out and do a little bit of fishing. My beard has just gone crazy today. I think I need to put some oil in it. Anyway, uh, I've been wanting to finish fish this place for a little while um, and I just haven't done it. Um, so we'll probably start here and then we'll see what uh, where we go from here. Um, Keep an eye on next week because I think I'm finally going to do some salt water and hopefully that works. I haven't done salt water really since I was a kid when my dad brought me down here to Florida um, back in like I think maybe the late 90s, probably like 97, 98, somewhere around in there. Could have been a little bit earlier than that, but it's... It was after my sister died, so it's been a long time. Um, but let's get the uh, the GoPro strapped up and uh, see what we can get. So I'll catch you in about two seconds. Right, let's try on this side with a natural color. Maybe something's hiding up one of these lily pads. We'll throw out a couple of times and then probably head to where I was going to go. bunch of grass on this side. spot number two this spot may look familiar it's been quite a while I don't know if that was grass I don't know it's there's a ton of it There's one thing I hate more than anything is a grassy pond. But anyway, it's been a couple of months since we've been to this spot. This is where I had the white uh, the white chatterbait on. So it's been a couple of months. So I figured I would uh, come up here and see what I could get. See if we get lucky. But there's a lot of grass, so it may not go as well as we hope. It seems like maybe this way there's not so much. to uh, kind of jump in here and talk to you. Um, we're at like 91, I think. So I was thinking about doing a 100 sub giveaway. Um, probably some tungsten since I haven't broke into it yet. I don't know if it's homeless or what, but a guy with two dogs that have leashes on them, uh, he won't hold the leash and about every couple of seconds or so, I gotta hear, come here, come here, instead of holding the leash. So hopefully either the camera's not picking it up or I can take it out in editing, we'll see. But uh, I wanted to, to say thank you for the ones that have stuck around, even though we've been spotty with uploads quite a bit. Um, out here, we're, you know, fixing a fish, you can't see it. 
Uh, then there's like two or three others back that way. We're out here now. It looks like it might rain. You can see the clouds. Um, but uh, we'll see what we can get. The first, I think the first two places we were at, nothing. The first one was nothing but grass on the bottom. And every cast I'd bring in the hydrilla and all that. Uh, I've been there before, caught fish there, and then I never had that big of an issue. But this last time it was bad. So I ended up leaving, went to another place, didn't catch nothing. So uh, it's about 12.30 now. So uh, we're kind of late, kind of early. So we'll... Uh, We'll see how we get on. And uh, I guess I'll uh, show you the tungsten. That's probably going to be what I do. I don't know if I want to do like one person gets it all or two, you know, two people get something or whatever. Y'all let me know down in the comments. First cast in here. Let's see if there's anything that's gonna bite. Bite the lure, not me. So hopefully there's no alligators somewhere in here. I don't know if I'm far enough south, but we'll see. This water's pretty dirty, so I don't know if a turtle will feel like catching one of those. kind of fish is that? Oh, get off of me. Something tried tugging it as soon as it hit the water. But I don't know if it was too small. There goes something messing with it. May not be big enough. Yeah, I think it's like probably bluegill or something. Well, great time to have something go in your eye. Um, no, that's a Ford F-150, not a race car. Somebody didn't get the memo. Now, I've been here before. I don't know if I've ever showed it on the channel but I have not caught anything. But I have seen decent sized bluegill in here. And I think on fish brain, I've seen somebody catch a nice little bass out of here, out of one of these. There's this one, there's one over there, and then there's one at the other end. So there's four or so total, four or five, somewhere in there. That middle one's pretty good size. But, um, I don't know. Find out. I almost wish they hadn't put that fence along the outside. I mean, at least they got gates. So it'd be nice if they'd come in here and mow. Oh, a little baby turtle.
grass growth compared to the last time I was here is insane. Let's see if I can even get to this side. Are those chickens? No, those are ducks. Look like chicken from here somehow. I don't have my glasses on, so, uh, you know, that's my excuse. I have glasses on. I got some polarized on, but they aren't prescription. Look at little, little turtles running. Oh, that was a baby turtle. Baby and mama taking off running. But the grass growth in these ponds is insane. I actually think last time I was here, that stuff was so slick that I almost fell. Ooh, that right there hurt my back. <clears throat> Don't like wet socks, so I'm trying not to get my feet wet. Whoa, look at that. About right there at the end of my rod I don't know if the camera's picking it up that's actually right by my bait it's a baby bass probably about that long and there's a couple of them in there oh that went up over my shoes great Oh, that's what those dots are all over the water. Great. Why you gotta do that to me? Well, when I see little baby bass about that big, that gives me hope that there's bass in here. So, let's see if we can get lucky today. This water's not as dirty as that other one, so. Maybe I need to get out of the red. Go like black and blue or something. Let's try the uh, black sapphire speed worm by Zoom. And I think that's a th 3 16 ounce. Yeah, 3 16 ounce uh, worm weight. What was that? Uh, from Guggen. See, uh, see, uh, see how lucky we can get. Well, I wanted to go further than that, but okay. I think I can actually get all the way to the last pond with this this trail, or I wouldn't call it a trail, but. May not have to worry about it too soon, or too much longer, I should say. There is a job offer to go south to uh, do something I've been wanting to get back into for a long time. So we may, we may, uh, we may end up south problem with this place is there's so much grass right here that it's probably going to be bad. So I know there's a, a ton and I'm talking I've looked on Google map. I've looked on fish brain. Yeah, that's full of water. I'm not going in there. Um, fish brain, Google map. 
Google Earth, there is a ton of ponds. There's probably a pond on every street and a bunch of canals with some uh, fish I've been wanting to catch for a long time. Some uh, peacock bass. So uh, be on the lookout for that. I don't know exactly when yet. See, this is a trail that goes back into the little wood thing they've got, or the little state park or preserve or whatever. I think I can only get to that from the roadside. Boy, you say, you hear me? Sounding like I'm riding the struggle bus to talk sometime. Because I move or I breathe in too heavy or something, and that, that spot in my shoulder back area is hurting. Yeah, I don't know what all this is. Oh, I think there's water on the other side of this too. So maybe there's five. Yeah, there's five. Okay, so let's try pond number 600. I, uh, I can only imagine, uh, assume that it's at 600 now, even though there's not that many ponds here to fish. But it seems like I've been to one pond after another and have failed to catch anything. soft well that's gonna do it for this one um, you can see it's kind of wet out it's been like that all day we got out for a little bit couldn't catch anything sometimes that's just the way it goes I'm uh, you know I'm all about showing the reality of things and sometimes this is just the reality and like I said earlier it it's not as easy as everybody thinks it is to make videos especially about fit, uh, fishing you, you just can't make a bite and you know it is what it is i don't mind showing this side i don't know how many people actually want to watch this side of the fishing or the youtube or whatever if it is oh i got i got uh, the other phone using the flashlight because it's kind of dark. It's like... It's 7.45. Mickey said it. Um, so it's kind of late. And it's cloudy, as you can tell. So, um, you know, I figured I'd end this one off. And I think tomorrow or the next day, I'm going to uh, go out and do something I haven't done since I was a kid. So be looking for that. I think this one's going to come out. It's Tuesday. I think the 16th so it'll be a couple of days but um, by the time you see this hopefully I already have the other video done or at least whatever you know what I mean um, but like I said probably when we hit 100 I'll probably do a tungsten uh, giveaway and we're only a couple away from that. Here's an afterthought. Ooh. Can you see me? Okay, how about now? Um, here's an afterthought. Um, on the 26th of this month, it's crazy to think that I posted my first video August 26th of last year. So almost a year on YouTube. And we got further or more subs by now than I thought I would. Thanks to Sunfish King and that whole community. I'll leave them linked down below. Um, adjusting to fishing. Um, all of them. Too many to name. Um, 
but I had an afterthought. I posted a video to my Facebook the other day. It's Michael Blount or something. Um, can't remember the name of the song. I'll probably link it down below. But it, it, it it's about his dad or if you listen to it, it'll hit you hard. And it just made me think, hopefully in some way I've made him proud and continue to make him proud by doing all this fishing stuff and and all of that. So um, I miss him and I love him every day. Not a day goes by that I don't think about him and it sucks. Let me tell you. Um, I think that man probably understood me more than anybody I've ever met. But uh, thanks for watching. Hopefully I'll watch to the end. And uh, until next time, we'll catch you in the next one.